Hi everyone, this video is about revision. So how to do the revision, when to start revising the subjects and how to manage revision along with the syllabus completion. So we will discuss all of this in today's video. So many people underestimate revision. So what they think is, I've just studied the topic so the concepts are still fresh in my mind. So I will do the revision after the syllabus completion. So this is very wrong. You should start the revision now only. People usually think that when I forget the subject, then I will do the revision. It's like when you are studying or starting a new topic. So before starting a new topic, just revise the previously studied topics, previously studied subjects. So after you complete a topic, just revise it again and then move on to the new topic. So the thing is, more you delay the revision, the more time it will take to recall the things. So when you revise after a long gap, it will take you much more effort and much more time to recall all the things that you have studied. So better you should revise after completing a subject or after completing a topic. So don't rely that after completing the whole syllabus, then I will start the revision. Don't do this. The next is if you start immediately after studying a subject or immediately after studying a topic, it will take you much lesser time and also everything will be on top of your mind. And also you will feel a lot more confident about the topic or the subject you have studied. Next is like early revision is essential because like uh, many people get worried like uh, they say that I have studied but I don't remember anything so I am very tensed about it that whatever I have studied I have forgotten so if you do early revision then this might help you with confidence about remembering the previously studied concepts. The next is like if you do the revision after completing a subject so it will be stored in your long term memory. So what does this mean is so there are two types of memory a short term memory and a long term memory. So what happens is when you study a subject after completing a subject that remains in your short term memory and then because of that thing you feel that the things are still fresh in my mind. So they are in your short term memory and not in your long term memory. When you do revise them frequently, then it will move to the long term memory. Then only the concepts will retain in your mind for a longer time. The next is efficiency. So what happens is when you revise second time, then it will take a lesser time than the first time. But what happens is if you are thinking that you will revise after completing the whole syllabus, then it might take five to six days to revise just one subject and what happens if you revise the subject immediately after completing it then uh, for the second time when you do the revision it may take only one or two days to revise the whole subject so the time reduces by half or more than half when you revise frequently so for example for the first time it may take a lot of time to revise then for the second time, the time will be divided by half. Then the third time, the time again will be divided by half. So yeah, this is something exponential. So just give half an hour every day for revision. Take half an hour or one hour from your busy schedule every day just for revision and see the results in 10 days. You will feel a lot more confident about the subjects and the concepts you have studied so far. Yeah, so now coming to how to manage revisions with lectures, PYQs, test series, etc. So there's a lot of, of tasks in your plate. So how to manage them? So yeah, that's again what I have told you. Take half an hour every day for revision. That's not a big deal. Taking half an hour every day from your busy schedule is literally not a big deal. So still, if you are not able to manage half an hour also, so what you can do is you can just take one day a week just for revision. So on that day, don't uh, study any new topic, just do revision of the previously studied topics. So for some people, the first thing works that is uh, revising every day for some time. And for some people, the next thing works that is uh, just doing revision one day and not doing any new topic that day. So the next is revision doesn't need intense focus. So how can you manage it is so if you are a college student, so if you are going to college but not paying attention in the class, so what you can do is you can do the revision at that time. Also, if it takes uh, one hour or two hour in traveling for you every day from college to home or home to college, etc. So you can utilize that time also for revision. 
The next is like before sleeping, take a moment to recall the topics you studied today. So what does I mean to say here is not to take your notes and just like go through all the notes again. I'm just asking you to recall the name of the topic you studied today. So many of the people are not able to recall that also. So you just you can just try this like before sleeping, just recall the name of the topics you studied today. So most of the people delay the revision until October. So you might be also one of them who uh, who is thinking that I will uh, do the revision after October when my syllabus will be completed. So the reason behind is so mostly people are afraid of facing the subjects. So the thing is that feel like if I revise the things, then I might not able to recall the subjects, might not able to recall the concepts. So they are afraid. So don't be afraid, just do it. The good thing here is you still have a lot of time. So just face your fears now. If you have, if you are afraid that you will not be able to recall the concepts or recall the subjects, then just go ahead, do revision and it will be better with time. So yeah, everything will stay at the top of your mind and you will feel a lot more confident. Yeah, so this slide might scare you, but yeah, if you leave revision for later, the syllabus will overwhelm you. So better to start the revision now only. How to revise? So some people prefer complete notes for revision. Some people prefer short notes for revision, but it is advised to do the revision from the complete notes for the uh, like first two, three times. You do the revision from the complete notes and uh, in the month of December and January, you can utilize your short notes for revision. So the next is test. So you may utilize the test series for the revision. You just give a test and see in which questions you are stuck in some questions, you might not be able to recall the concept. So just go through the solution or just go through the concept once again and just revise that concept. So next is like PYQs. So the same goes with PYQs. If you are stuck in some question, you just do revise that concept again. So yeah, the next is like plan for revision. So this is just for reference if you want to see. Um, otherwise, you can make your own schedule. So till now we have talked about like daily revision and weekly revision. But after you complete your subjects in the month of November, what you can do is you have 10 subjects. You can give three to four days for each subjects. For example, like operating system, you can divide it into four parts. Like first is the synchronization, second is deadlock, second is memory ma uh, management and the other one is file system. So like this, you can divide a subjects into three or four parts. And what you can do, one day you can study this topic and then solve the PYQs and the do the revision of this topic and then give a topic wise test of this uh, particular topic so that the whole uh, subject will be completed in three to four days. So your first iteration of revision will be done in these four days. And similarly, if you do for other subjects, it will take around 40 days. So the whole November and some part of December will be gone into this. So this is about the topic wise revision. So this is how you can do the first iteration of revision in these 40 days. After that, you can move on to the subject wise revision in December. So I already told you that once you do the revision, the next time it will take a lot lesser time than before for revising the things. So for the next iteration, you can give two days for each subject, one or two days for each subject. So it will take just 20 days for revision. And then this iteration, what you can do in the previous iteration, you have given the topic wise test. Now you can give the subject wise test. So this is how you can utilize November and December for revision and topic wise and subject wise test. Next come to January. So January in January, you can do the complete revision of all the subjects parallelly. Give the full length test and do the PYQs. Also, if you star mark some questions for the revision, you can do these things in January. So also, if you haven't done this thing like star marking any question for further revision, you can uh, check out my folder where I have shared all the star mark questions and all the important questions throughout my preparation that I got. Yeah, so moving towards the end of this video, these are some tips that I have. These are some terms from a book like memory boost, spaced repetition and active recall. So what does this mean is so memory boost means that like the thing I have already told you about the short term memory and the long term memory. So what you think is fresh in your mind is actually stored in your short term memory. When you do the revision frequently, then it will be stored in your long term memory and things will retain in your memory for a longer time. 
so the next is spaced repetition so when you do the revision like uh, frequently and periodically so what happens is what you have covered so far will retain in your memory and uh, you will feel a lot more confident after that the next is like active recall so that thing i have already told you that you can do the revision through the pyqs also so instead of just reading your notes you can use the pyqs for revision so also this is like when you solve a question you actually apply that concept so yeah that's it for this video thanks for watching and if you have any doubt you can let me know in the comments and uh, i will definitely try to answer them so thank you everyone